if you're going to be taking a praxis exam, you'll definitely need to know how to solve a problem like this. Now to do that, you'll need a really good understanding of percent, how to translate verbal phrases into algebraic phrases, and how to solve basic linear equations. So let's take a look at how to work through this problem and answer the question. All right, so here is our problem. 20% of a number is three times the number plus 28. What is the number? Okay, now to solve this, we're gonna really need to understand uh, basically three things. The first is percent. You need to know how to solve basic percent problems. The second thing is you need to be able to translate a verbal expression or a verbal phrase into an algebraic phrase. And then the last thing we need to do here is solve a basic algebraic equation. Okay, so let's go ahead and get into this right now. And the first thing that we need to think about is an unknown value, right? So we're looking for some number. So what is this number? Well, we don't know. So it's a good idea to uh, let a variable represent that number. So I'm going to use the variable x. So let's go ahead and translate this verbal phrase or these uh, sentences into algebra. Okay, so here again is our problem. 20% of a number is. So I've got this circled here because anytime you see the word is in a math problem, a math word problem, you want to be thinking about the equal sign. So what we're saying is 20% of some number is equal to or is three times the number plus 28. So I'm going to get to how to translate this in just one second. But uh, first, let's just do a quick review of basic percent. So if I asked you, what is 20% of 100? Well, clearly the answer is 20. But remember, when we're taking a percent of a number, what we're going to do is divide that number by 100 or move the decimal point over two places to the left. So 20% uh, is the same thing as 0.2. And then we're going to multiply by that number. So just a quick review of basic percent. So 0.2 times 100, of course, is 20. So 20% 20 of this number is going to be what? Well, it's going to be 0.2 times that number, which we said is x. Okay, so that's a little bit of a hint here on how to translate the, this uh, or these sentences into an equation. So let's see if you can do it. So we have 0.2x is equal to 3 times the number. So what would that look like? plus 28. Well, let's take a look at this setup right now. So this is 20% of the number x, right? And it's equal to what? Well, 3 times the number is 3x, right? So 3x means 3 times this number x plus 28. Okay, so at this stage, all we need to do is be able to solve this equation for x. If you're going to be taking a Praxis teacher certification exam, you don't want to take a chance of failing because of weak math skills. So instead of guessing on math questions, why not answer them confidently? So make sure to check out all of my Praxis math test prep courses. They are extremely comprehensive with step-by-step -step lessons and thousands of practice problems and much, much more. So if you want to check them out, just follow the links in the description. Now, if you want to give this a try, I think that is a good idea. And if you think you have the answer, go ahead and put that into the comment section. But let's continue on here. So now that we know that 0.2x is equal to 3x plus 28 is the algebraic equivalent of our problem, right? So 20% of a number x is equal to 3 times that number plus 28. All we have to do here is solve for the variable x. Okay, so what we're going to do is move this 3x over to the, to the left-hand side. Remember, in algebra, we like to have our variables to the left and our numbers to the right. So we have to combine like terms. So what we're going to do is subtract 3x from both sides of the equation. Okay, and then we're going to add down. And if you need a calculator, that's perfectly fine. So we have 0.2x minus 3x. That get, that's going to give us a negative 2.8x. You got to be very careful here with these positive and negative values. And that's going to be equal to 3x minus 3x, which of course is 0. And we have 28 plus nothing, of course, is 28. All right, so what we need to do now is divide both sides of the equation by negative 2.8. Negative 2.8x divided by negative 2.8 
is going to be what? Well, a negative divided by negative is a positive or a positive 1. So our uh, answer on the left-hand side is going to be a positive 1x or x. But remember the rule in algebra. Whatever you do to one side of the equation, you have to do the exact same thing to the other side. So 28 divided by negative 2.8 is our answer. And of course, that is negative 10. Okay, so this is the solution, but we can check our answer, right? So if this indeed is the correct answer, let's see if it makes sense in the original problem. So this number is negative 10, or at least we think it is. So 20% of this number is what? Well, if the number is negative 10, it's going to be 0.2 times negative 10. So 0.2 times negative 10 is negative 2. Okay, so that is what the left-hand side of this equation is, or the left-hand side of this problem is. So 20% of this number, negative 10, is negative 2. So let's see if it's the same thing as 3 times the number plus 28. So 3 times this number, or negative 10, is what? Well, that is negative 30 plus 28 is what? Well, negative 30 plus 28 is indeed negative 2. So this all works out. So indeed, negative 10 is our final solution. All right, so I hope this video helped you out if you are preparing for a Praxis exam. And if you want more step-by-step -step practice just like this, make sure to check out all my Praxis Math Test Prep courses. You can get started right away by following the links in the description.